I've managed to make my imagery very contemporary, um, very contemporary art based. So the direction that the paper fabric went into before it became a three dimensional concept, um, I treated it if it was artwork for the ward. Um, now basically what I did was I did produce sample after sample after sample and kept going and pushing ideas and then through selecting and sorted so look, sorted out the best of the best which what had happened was there was a, quite an overwhelming variation in these samples but they all kind of connected in their own way um, but were all different which kind of made the collection quite interesting. Now I played with ideas of displaying the art um, on a white board um, and I didn't turn these into three dimensional masks but what I did was I went um, to the local woods which is a favourite uh, walk of mine, Hercott Woods and has some very fascinating um, wooded area which enabled me to actually display the artwork on trees and I made video footage um, with music um, and also there was the sounds and the rustling um, of the wind uh, within the trees so that made it kind of very atmospheric um, but I think it was quite nice to take it back to nature and it was quite really nice to actually see my artwork outside uh, but what the photography and the uh, video footage enabled me or, or taught me was to actually take a step back because I think as artists we do actually fall into um, being very tunnel vision and don't actually see um, not necessarily the purpose of our work but possibly how good it looks or how good it is and the one interesting thing that I think has come um, from social media is when you publish your work um, it's interesting to get uh, from an outside the feedback on artwork and the other thing um, which had happened in the woods, people actually stopped passers-by um, to look at the artwork and it was really lovely of these people to take an interest and find out what the artwork was and why, um, why I was making videos and taking photographs and pinning it to the trees in the woods. So that was a nice outreach um, for this assignment, something else, that... I've learned to actually push the, push the boundaries of the context of um, our artwork. Be more confident um, and actually thinking, do you know what? Sometimes the negativity that comes out of an assignment is now turning into a positive um, notion. And it's making me more aware and self-aware that I do use tools um, with my learning difficulty with language but I don't think it ever puts a barrier up against my creativity. I can't always explain why I do what I do with my creativity, it just happens um, in this box of mine. Um, I think I probably lack or could do with a little bit more explanation but I do try to the best of my ability but I do basically think that that is an artist. Um, where our ideas come from, I have no idea. I think it's just that our minds are very active, very stimulated, but what is around us, um, and I think we are very self-aware of uh, creativity, art, um, and we express that in so many different ways. I know I express it in my art, and I also express it in my clothes that I wear, and my job is very creative as a hairdresser. Um, so this this pathway of contemporary uh, practice has been um, enlightening because it's enabled me now to actually see that I am not just following the process of a textile degree, but I'm actually um, a long life learning process of being creative and I think I will constantly be creative and I think what this area of contemporary practice has enabled me to do is just let go of fears, gain confidence but has also made me realise that this is the direction that I do want to go um, when I complete my degree um, and I would love 
to become a, a, a textile tutor um, because I find it very um, stimulative um, working around the creative members um, and generating stimulative and creative ideas. So all in all, um, to finalise this reflection on this video, um, I will give it the thumbs up.